The fool doth think he is wise, but the wise man knows himself to be a fool. Hi, welcome to my first Shakespeare video. I'm going to be talking about Shakespeare the man, what do we know about him as a person, historically, through official documents and things like that. For example, we know that Shakespeare was baptised right here in Holy Trinity Church in Stratford-on-Avon on April the 26th in 1564. And we know this because it says so in the parish register, which reads Gulielmus Filius Johannes Shakespeare, William, the son of John Shakespeare. And there are several documents that show that Shakespeare's father, John Shakespeare, owned this house in Henley Street in Stratford-on-Avon, so we can be fairly sure again that that's where Shakespeare grew up. Here, for example, is a document of 1556 showing that Shakespeare's father had recently purchased the house in Henley Street, and here's another from 1575 relating to a neighbouring house that shows John Shakespeare connected with that property. We can't be completely sure of Shakespeare's school because the school records haven't survived, but in all likelihood, he went to school here. There are documents showing that Shakespeare's father served as an alderman on the town council of Stratford from 1565. This means Shakespeare would have had the right to attend King's School, which was the only school for miles around, for free. It would be strange indeed if John Shakespeare had not sent his son here. And we know that in 1582, Shakespeare married Anne Hathaway. Not that one! Oh, sorry! This one. Oh. The original documents testifying to the marriage are in Worcester Cathedral, and if you ask the bishop nicely, he might just let you have a look at them. And so it goes on. It's often said that we don't have much information about Shakespeare, but we have the baptismal records of his three children, we've got the burial record of his son at the age of 11, we've got records showing that he got into some kind of fight in London in 1596, although it does seem that that case never actually went to court, and we've got plenty of other documents. For example, we know that he purchased a big house in Stratford-on-Avon in 1597. We know that he became one of three co-owners of the Globe Theatre site in 1599, and that he bought another property in London in 1613. And his will survives, of course, together with his burial place in the same church where he was baptised, and he's mentioned by several writers in books published during his lifetime. I'll just look at one of those books, Palladis Tamia, or Wit's Treasury, written by Francis Mears and published in 1598. Books in those days were often numbered by the signature rather than the page, and on the recto or front side of signature 280, Mears praises the writers of classical antiquity and goes on to say, The English tongue is mightily enriched and gorgeously invested in rare ornaments and resplendent habiliments by Sir Philip Sidney, Spencer, Daniel, Drayton, Warner, Shakespeare, Marlowe, and Chapman. And he makes several other mentions of Shakespeare. For example, as the soul of Euphorbus was thought to live in Pythagoras, so the sweet witty soul of Ovid lives in mellifluous and honey-tongued Shakespeare. Witness his Venus and Adonis, his Lucrece, his sugared sonnets among his private friends, etc. As Plautus and Seneca are accounted the best for comedy and tragedy among the Latins, so Shakespeare, among the English, is the most excellent in both kinds for the stage. We know as much about Shakespeare as we do about most other writers and famous people of that time. If you're interested in this subject and you want to check these records, the best starting point is the Folger Online Exhibition, which has nearly 500 documents from Shakespeare's time, including the ones depicted in this video. And if you want to see the actual places and objects associated with Shakespeare, well, then you could start by paying an online visit to the Shakespeare Birthplace Trust. Happy researching, and I hope you learn many more details about the life of William Shakespeare.